Hey, how is everyone doing? Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to give you guys an update on Core Beast, show you what I got from the uh, 500 new kills since last video. This video took me again <laughs> more than 100 hours to, to make to collect the footage from Corp. It's a really time consuming grind, so hopefully, you guys enjoy this. And I'm also going to give my opinion about. Uh, the potential change of that mechanics and give you guys a rough overview of everything I got from Corp. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Oh, and thank you so much for the support on last video. We were really close to hitting 1000 likes. That means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Hey, 1100 kills for the cannonball drop. Very nice. First uh, good drop of the day as well. Not bad, not bad. We've got some more balls. Alright, here we go. See if someone got it. What? No! What? Why? Why do I get another one before I shoot, bro? Are you serious? <laughs> I'm so done. <laughs> oh my god, okay. I... I was legit saying earlier, like, do we get a shield today so we can, can use this other elixir? But instead, we get another elixir. So now we have two elixirs again. Kill number 1300 coming up. Um, here we go. See what we get. Ah, we got some white berries. I'll take that. We are actually... Alright, so my last spirit shield drop was at 1027 KC. And I'm currently at 1300. And I haven't seen any spirit shield since then. I have two elixirs still. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. I was really lucky on spirit shields before. Right now I haven't seen a spirit shield in ages. We kind of need them to make more blast shields so we can high up them for more money. So I got a lot of questions about the potential change of the death mechanics. Alright, so I will give my view on it shortly. Um, 
if they do revert the oldest mechanics, playing ultimate iron man becomes almost impossible. Um, when you PVM, a lot like me, the biggest problem is the time uh, items stay on the ground. Uh, I heard a few suggestions, 50 minutes, 20 minutes. Both of these times will make PVMing really hard to do. Um, because of the loot back and the time to get your items back doing Godward Dungeon, for example. Uh, for example, if you go to Armadale and you die because of a disconnection or, or you die because of the boss, I spawn in Edgeville with uh, nothing. That's including untradables being reverted to being dropped because right now you keep untradables. But so I pretty much spawn with nothing in Edgeville and it is like impossible to get my items back in 15 or 20 minutes. So the conclusion is that the ultimate Iron Man mode pretty much turns into hardcore ultimate Iron Man mode with just one update. So I uh, don't really agree on this because first of all, it will destroy PVMing on an ultimate Iron Man. Uh, so it will pretty much become skill man mode. And second of all, uh, it will also give an unfair advantage over new ultimate Iron Mans coming into the game. PVM items are going to become a lot harder to get. Uh, some items might even be discontinued on ultimates. For example, core beast or like sigils ultimate iron man i got sigil right now uh, if you make a new ultimate iron man and if you die at a boss you pretty much lose all your stuff so that means you need to get everything from scratch without dying that's uh, not easy to get so i've also heard a lot about like adding fees or a gravestone uh, my opinion on that is as long as the fee is not like impossible to pay it's it's fine um as long as the the time items stay on the ground remains the same another suggestion is like paying to upgrade your gravestone to one hour i think that's that's something they could do uh so like if you die you have like a 50 minute gravestone but there's like a location where you can extend this time by paying a certain amount of money so that way there's a gold sink uh one problem with this is that you suicide a lot on an ultimate iron man uh and this has been in the game for years something that could solve this is uh, making loot back able to use on a bank uh, to destroy it and items in the loot back will stay on the ground for an hour so for example using loot back in let's say actual bank you say yes it gets destroyed and everything in it will be on the ground for one hour that way you don't have to suicide and uh, that solves the old suiciding problem but you can still use the loot back so that will be that will be awesome i know there are a lot of people that are saying like suiciding is abusing the mechanics to even play in a mode like it, it should have never been in the game but you could pretty much say that about everyone because it will also affect iron man and some mains as well so it's not just ultimate iron man but it will affect ultimate iron man the most because we are really depending on suiciding and switching items from the loot pack if they suddenly change this i i won't be even able to to get like stuff out of the back it's it's gonna be really in inconvenient so I don't really agree on them changing the, the the time stuff stays on the ground. Of course, I'll say that because it will destroy the game mode. Some people might not agree with me, but yeah, that's just that's just my opinion. Uh, if I can't PVM anymore, that will be really sad because that's pretty much the only thing I do, and I really en uh, really enjoy it on the Ultimate Iron Man mode. So I, I will be really sad to walk away from this game because of one update because I can't do something I, I like anymore because I'm not gonna skill only or do like uh, endless hours of raids and get a lot of good items and then never use these items anywhere else besides from raids. So yeah, that that's pretty much my opinion about all of this. And yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure if they're even going to change this, but if they will and don't take Ultimate Iron Man into account, then a really great game mode will be destroyed by just one update and i will be really sad to see that because i really love pvming and like walking away from the game mode because of one update it, it's not gonna be worth it if they put 50 minute timer and i go pvm and i die somehow and lose everything that i worked for the past like months years so if you have anything to say about it let me know in the comments i uh i mean there's gonna be there's a lot of discussion going on about this topic on Twitter, uh, Reddit, I see it everywhere and everyone thinks directly about Ultimate so it's really interesting. Uh, 
Uh, that's the maximum I ever got, so... 185. It's eh, that's, that's not bad, right? That's not bad. Let's see how much experience do we get from this. 12.2k room crafting XP. Yeah, that's that's pretty uh, pretty good, I guess. All right, here we go. Lead kill count at Corp. Let's see what the drop is gonna be. Oh, that's pretty uh, disappointing. <laughs> but that KC looks sick. That looks amazing. <laughs> Kill 1400 on the ultimate Iron Man. We are still dry of a spirit shield for around 350 kills. And we get green D heights, alright. 1400 kills, boys. Wow. <laughs> There we go, 84 hunter from just doing corp. We can make anti-fire potions. Upgraded, very nice. Oh, 1500 KC hype. Yo, thank you so much. Here we go. Uh, mm, it's blue. I mean, it, it is blue. 1500 kill count on the ultimate Iron Man. What? No. What? Four elixirs, no spirit shields. I haven't got a spirit shield for almost 500 kills. This is stupid, man. <laughs> what? All right, so for anyone interested, I'm going to quickly go over the supplies that I got from Corp in 1500 kills and give you guys a rough estimate of what you can expect from doing these kills. Um, in my last video, in the thumbnail, I had 2800 green dehydes and 3350 uh, white berries. I currently have 4.5k green dehydes and 6.7k white berries. So I did get a lot of white berries. I, got, I doubled my amount of white berries in only 500 kills. So that's, that's really lucky. I got a lot of white berry drops. But on average, on average, you get about. 4.5 white berries per corp kill so that's pretty decent on average for me uh these green d heights i almost got 5k d height so that's 1k green d height bodies um making 1000 green d height bodies uh is 186,000 crafting experience so i almost got that back and that is also uh around 5 million gp in high ox so that's actually pretty decent um not as much crafting experience but it's around five mil free money and i mean it is free crafting experience so i'm gonna be close to another level uh addy bars i get a bit less than one addy bar per kill uh it's not bad i will use these for addy darts and fill up the stack rune ore about the same a bit less on average but i will get rune darts from out of the ore so that's actually pretty decent um teak planks though that's this is pretty interesting so i get an average of exactly three teak planks per corp kill and i currently have 405k construction experience backed in planks um now that is actually not a lot if you look at the time i spent at corp beast but 400k experience in noted planks on an ultimate is definitely not bad i probably get around two levels from that so that's actually not too bad and it's a of course, all these supplies are still stacking up. So, I'm, I mean, I'm not done here. Uh, let's see. The antidotes. That is decent herbler experience. I will get 173k herb experience from these potions. And on average, I get around one 
antidote per corp kill so that's actually not terrible uh 172k herb experience in noted po in noted potions uh that's actually pretty good i only need to use sewer skills on that uh and i think well, i mean i will be pretty close to 85 so it's definitely not bad and that's about it supplies wise so i also want to go over every drop i got so far so in total i have got nine holy elixirs and that is actually yeah that's actually exactly on the raid onyx bolts and cannonballs though i got 40 cannonball drops and 40 onyx bolt drops and that's actually pretty far below the raid uh i think i'm missing around 10 bolts and 10 cannonball drops i think they are around 1 in 27 1 in 30 so if you do the math that's around like 1200 kills so that's actually pretty terrible um and i got 18 spirit shields and uh, let's see the drop rate for that a spirit shield is 1 in 64 i got 18 so 1152 kills in total so i'm extremely dry on spirit shields now and as you saw in the video i'm also 500 kills dry on the spirit shield right now uh so <laughs> that's pretty insane so yeah i'm a little dry on that but that's not the biggest deal i mean it it will make blast shields and i can high out them but that's pretty much all so overall not too terrible not too great um i got i'm definitely sure i'm super lucky on white berries because white berries and green dehydes are both an uncommon drop and i got a lot more white berries than green dehydes Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This took me over 100, 100 hours to make. And we are currently almost at 400 hours total spent at Corp without any sigils. So it's kind of a rough grind, but I'm not going to quit. Uh, I'm not going to give up. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this video. It took a really long time to make this video because Corp takes a lot of time and it's hard to collect progress. So if you did like this video leave a like subscribe and hopefully soon you will see me get a fresh sigil